If you like this video, why not subscribe? Okay, let's take this and spend it on some filmmaking stuff. First up, I have this uh, audio adapter. This is a mono to stereo adapter. Actually, it's more like a mono to dual mono adapter. It's from Radio Shack, costs $3.50. You have a mono jack right here and a uh, stereo plug on this side. And what you do is you take your mono microphone, plug it into this, and it will give you a dual mono output. So why would you want to do this? Well, suppose you're recording with a device like this. This is a Zoom H1. And as you can see here, I'm uh, recording the mono microphone because you can see that only one channel here is giving a reading only the left channel the left bar is moving up and down here but uh, as a result what I have to do is to specify to use only this channel in post so that I'm not dealing with lopsided audio uh, but a way to avoid that is to just take care of it during production which means you use an adapter like this and you just unplug your mic plug it into the adapter and then into your audio recorder and now you can see that both the left and right channel are the same thing because it's uh, this adapter has now duplicated this mono signal and put it into both uh, left and right channels so now I can avoid having to do that process in post and saves me a little time and if that's something that's a concern for you or if you're using any kind of mono microphone that you need to, to uh, create kind of a dual mono. I don't want to say stereo because it's not stereo, but if you want to fill the other channel with your signal without having to mess with it in post, or if you're doing a live show, uh, some kind of web, live web show or whatever, this is a way you can do it. $3.50 at Radio Shack. Okay, next up I have this uh, digital clock that I got on eBay for $4. And you may ask, well, why am I getting, why am I showing you a digital clock? Well, the digital clock has different modes. Here's a temperature mode. Here's a date. And this is a countdown timer. So this is what I want to talk about because I want to propose to you how you can use this as a kind of rudimentary uh, production slate uh, in case you don't have it on your own dry erase slate or for whatever reason you need a backup slate, you forgot your slate. This is kind of a good substitute. This is kind of the same idea I presented a while ago when I showed you my uh, what to do with your old smartphone uh, episode where I took an old smartphone I used the countdown timer on that as a slate because I didn't have a slate app on that specific phone but you can do the same thing with any timer for example uh, this is scene 13 uh, take 6 and as you can see it has some decent contrast and it even has a backlight so if I'm doing it in low light low lighting conditions I'm able to see it without having to throw a light on it uh, and then once the take is over uh, I just oops. I can then change, where is it? There's the, I can change the uh, scene number like so. Go up or down, it goes all the way to 99, I think, or 59. Um, and then change the take number to the next one once you've done that take. And uh, there you go. Now this doesn't obviously have clapper sticks on it or anything like that. You can always you know, snap your fingers if you need to, clap your hands. Uh, but this isn't a bad alternative to a slate, especially in darker conditions. Again, this is just a digital clock. If I got it on eBay for $4, and you can find that in the link below. All right, next up is this. This is a uh, tablet stand. Got this at Dollar Tree for a dollar uh, after a tip from LW House from Turtle Dude Productions. I'll leave you his annotation to his channel right there. It'll also be in the description below. And what this is, is uh, as I described, it is just a cheap tablet stand. If you have an iPad or some other tablet like the Nex Nexus or whatever, uh, you can use this as a stand for it. All you do is just kind of plug the uh, back in here like that and pop out these little tabs here. So you can put your tablet uh, sit right there. Um, now. This might not be, I don't know how many of you have iPads or tablets or whatever, and I don't have a tablet, so what good is this to me if you don't have one of these? Well, suppose you're using uh, some kind of monitor like this. This is uh, the secondary monitor from a car DVD playing system. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's got inputs and everything, but there's no way for it to stand up because it's uh, made to be attached to the back of a seat. So if I want to use this as, say, just a monitor on a, on a shoot, and I want to prop it up on a table or whatever. There's really no way to do that. There's no stand of any kind. But with this stand here, I can just set it 
like so. And now I can pretty much uh, put it anywhere and use it. So this, uh, again, is only a dollar. Uh, I'd like to thank LW House from Turtle Dude Productions for suggesting it. It's a good idea. Only a dollar, a dollar tree. Pretty interesting. And finally, we have this uh, neoprene sleeve here. This is uh, something that I came across while so actually looking for a replacement uh, sleeve for my laptop, and I ended up with this one. This one's uh, pretty big, fits a 15 inch laptop. Instead of a zipper, it just has this kind of flap. You can just stick your laptop right in there. This is great if you have a backpack, uh, you need a little extra protection for your laptop. You can just put this in here and put it in your backpack. But they also have different sizes of these. Oh, by the way, this one was about a little over $5. I'll leave the link for it below. But what I was more interested in was in something that was smaller that I could use for uh, kind of other equipment to protect it. I originally got this one. This is a 7-inch one. These come in like 7-inch, 9-inch, 10-inch uh, versions. They're all over eBay. Uh, but I wanted to use this one as a case for my monitor. Typically it's this one here that I use for this show and other things. Now, this one actually turned out to be a little too small. Um, but it's good for uh, storing things. Let's say you know you want some uh, protection for your one dollar monitor stand. Fits in right there. And of course I'm just kidding. I don't know why you'd want to put your monitor stand in here. But it fits. Or perhaps your uh, electronic slate that you just picked up. And you've got a way to store it without it getting all scratched up or anything like that. But not a bad, uh, not a bad idea. I think you can use this for cables or anything else. Uh, monitors, anything. So I like that idea. And this, again, this one's only $1.70. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. All right, so that's it for this episode. We have uh, all kinds of interesting items for various uh, purposes. None of them cost very much. Most of them are around a buck. Some of them are a little over. Uh, so there you go. Spend your money wisely.